So today I'm doing another video all about selling on Vinted. So I've done two videos about Vinted in the past, like how to sell on Vinted and, you know, showing how much I made. So I thought I would do another one of those videos since you guys seem to really like them. So yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so here I am taking some photos of some of the clothes I'm selling. I also do some like on the hangers and some just like on me. But yeah, here I am taking some photos. So now that I've taken all the photos, I'm going to upload them onto my phone. Okay, so now I've got all the photos on my phone, I'm going to go into Vinted. But yeah, basically I just go onto the Vinted app and I click sell, upload photos. And then yeah, I just start uploading the photos of each piece of clothing. The first one I'm doing is this hoodie. So this photo actually is the wrong way around. So I'm just going to rotate that. And then for the title, I just am going to put Bershka light grey graphic print hoodie you want to keep this like fairly short but keep as many descriptive words as you can usually say like the brand and then i'll put what color it is and then what it actually is basically all i write in the description of mine is the size and the condition of the item and then if it's got any like marks or whatnot then i just write that as well then you choose a category usually it just comes up with the right one but if not just select the category the piece of clothing is and for the brand it's Bershka which just came up automatically because of the title and then size usually this comes up as well but it hasn't so I'm just going to click medium condition very good and then for colors I'm going to put gray and multi because it's got like different colors on the actual like graphic I usually put the main color and if it's got other colors I put multi-color and then it kind of shows you like what other pieces very similar to what you're selling have sold for so usually I just look on here and see like if there's any that look like the one i'm selling obviously just choose the price you want yeah just note that if your pricing is too high you aren't going to get anyone buy things i usually try and price on like the lower side just to like ensure that people buy my stuff that is the first thing and you can see it uploaded um you can kind of see my other stuff as well and this is the only thing that i don't really like about vinted is that with depop you could like bump your items kind of i mean you can technically bump your items on vinted but it costs money and it doesn't really do anything whereas on depop if you were to like go on edit and then upload it would bring your items back to the top again whereas on vinted like once it's uploaded that's kind of it it kind of gets forgotten about if it doesn't get sold like quite quickly that's the reason i'm like re-uploading clothes because some of them have been up for ages and people won't get to see them anymore so i always try and take photos of the labels of the clothes so that when i go back and upload the items i can check the label and see what size they are because otherwise i just forget so i really recommend doing this it's like a little little trick so that's all i'm going to upload for the moment i might upload a few more like later on this evening and then yeah as the days go on i will just upload like a few more items so, yeah now that i've done that the next update i'll do is what sells so i did actually sell two things yesterday so one was this sweater shop jumper so i'm going to include that in this video to put on the screen here i sold that for 25 pounds and then yesterday i sold this urban outfitters top which i'll put on the screen for 12 pounds so yeah i'm going to count that in this video because i did upload them yesterday update you guys if anything sells so literally as i just finished uploading some of the things someone bought something from me so they bought this little like jumper top um for four pounds so yeah that's our first sale of the day but yeah i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna package this and send it off okay, i've switched to my vlogging camera because i just find this one easier to use so yeah i'm gonna show you how to package the clothes and print shipping labels and stuff okay so i'm just gonna take one of my shipping bags um that i got from i think it's pronounced no issue i don't know but um i worked with them a while back and i still have some left over so i'm just gonna use this they're like a recycled eco-friendly mailing kind of company so yeah i'm just gonna put the jumper in here and parcel it up quickly so i'm just gonna quickly talk about shipping on vinted the main thing is whether or not you have a printer if you have a printer you can do pretty much any of the shipping options but if you don't have a printer then the only one you can really do is royal mail all you have to do for that is write the name on the parcel and drop it off your post office when using royal mail the person actually will pay for the shipping but then you have to pay for the shipping when you go to the post office you'll be reimbursed but you just have to use your money to begin with to post the parcel and then obviously if you've got a printer you can print like with every which is Hermes if you guys don't know they just changed the name to every and then I think there's a few others like UPS and Yodel but the ones that I use mainly are every and Royal Mail so for Royal Mail you need to keep the receipt that they give you as proof of postage because you need to upload a photo of it so that the person can see that you've actually sent it this is like essential because if you don't have the receipt then there's no proof that you sent it and people can just claim that you haven't sent it and like get their money back and you will just have nothing so yeah definitely keep your receipt and make sure to take a picture of it as well anyway i'm going to cut this out and pop it onto my parcel so now that the parcel is all packaged all you have to do is find your local every parcel shop take it in they'll scan it and that's it done okay so it's the next day and i've just sold another thing on my vintage so i sold this top hold on let me show you a bit better okay so it's this little 
top and it like ties at the front but yeah i saw that for 12 pounds it's a few days later now so i'm going to update you on what's sold over the last like two days i sold these pull and bear little trousers for three pounds i sold this green cardigan for 14 pounds I sold this bodysuit for £2 and then I've just sold this bundle of this jumper and this top as well. So that came to a total of £25.65. So those are the things that I've sold over the last sort of like two or three days. So yeah, I'm going to post them all tomorrow, see if we get any more purchases by then, but I'm not sure if we will. Also, I just want to say I've been listing like the same things on my Depop as well and literally nothing has sold on my Depop for like months and i don't know why like what is up with depop i used to sell so much on there so anyway you know the drill of packaging and shipping so i'm not going to bother showing you guys that but yeah that's basically what i'm gonna do and then i'll send them off tomorrow okay so it's literally been half an hour and something else sold so i sold this pair of dungarees for 25 pounds we're doing pretty well i think we're doing better than last time okay so it's been a few days since i last updated and a few things have sold i sold these corduroy like trouser things for five pounds i sold this blazer for 10 pounds i sold this fleece for eight pounds and i sold this like silk shirt for 11 pounds so yeah i'm honestly not sure what the total is but i think in a few days I'll do one like final update and see how much we've made. I think it's been like two weeks So last time I don't know for like a month, but yeah I think I'm gonna probably do a final update in a few days time just to see if anything else sells But I've not really got a lot left on my vintage at the minute like most things I put up have sold Yeah, I'll give it like another week maybe and see if we get any more sales Okay, so it's a few days later and this is gonna be the final update plot twist two things sold on my depop so literally earlier in this video i said that nothing ever sells on my depop but for some reason two things sold within the last like 24 hours but i'm gonna include it in this video because it's technically still like selling my clothes so yeah i sold this top on vintage for five pounds so i also sold a bundle of like three things so it was this skirt this jacket and this jumper and it sold for £26.60 and then on Vinted I sold this Zara little like knitted vest top. The vest top I sold for £12.50 plus £2 shipping but then Depop takes away like 10% so I don't even know what that would work out to. I'm gonna have to work that out and then add it to the total once I've worked it out and then this little cardigan sold this morning for £12 plus one or £2 shipping. I'll add that to the total once I've worked it out. I need to work it out now don't I? Okay bear with okay so if i've worked this out correctly which i probably haven't the total is 216 pounds and five pence so i think this is almost double what i made the last time i done this and i have only been doing this for literally like three weeks i've definitely managed to sell a lot more this time around so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely recommend selling your old clothes on vintage if you have any because it's just a good way to make money if you've got any questions as well just leave them in the comments down below but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.